next one we're talking about is a book we don't talk about much on this show, and that is Sonic the Hedgehog number 25. But there's a one in 10, but there's also a one in 25 incentive for this. Yeah, and I think the, the popularity for, or not, I don't want to say popularity, but the, the movie the, released this weekend? Or? Yeah, the, there's a couple things. Number one, yes, I do think that the, the movie timing um, plays largely into it. Um, I think, though, that the other, the other major factor is the fact that we've talked about this on the channel. This is a 1 in 25 variant. This is a, a 1 in 25 variant. Um, there's a 1 in 10 for this. This is a title that does not do 1 in 25s. They did when they first kicked off the series – and yeah, one in 50 or one in one in 100. Yeah. The problem was it was a confusing system. It was a really cool system for retailers. Um, didn't really pan out for collectors because they didn't know how to value these books. Um, a few IDW series, what they did was they allowed retailers to get an incentive for number one based on their orders for the first four issues. So if you ordered 25 copies of issue one, issue two, issue three, and issue four, you'd get, you'd get 25 copies, you'd get two one in tens for, for each book, and then you'd get a one in 100 of number one because you ordered 100 copies over the first four. Um, and that didn't necessarily do that well uh, because people realized there were more of them out there than you would typically That was like two years ago, right? Yeah, 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 because we're on issue 25. So it was about, it was about two years ago. Um, and when they originally came out a lot, they were popular. They were going for over a hundred dollars because, you know, they don't do a lot of these. This isn't something that's commonly done. Um, so there was a lot of kind of anticipation that, well, this could be something, um, this could be something valuable. And once people realized like, oh, you can make money off this. People started finding them at their retail stores and the market just got flooded with these. This is a different story. Like you could, I bet you there's far less of this one in 25 variant. Especially issue number 25. 25, right. So the, I saw this one coming. This is one of those things that I, this is my type of book. When we talk about like, I, I don't want to run with the big dogs. I don't want to chase the same thing everybody else is doing. I'm, I, what I enjoy um, when it comes to say flipping variants, if the, the variant section, that tends to be what it is. The reader buzz section, that's when you're buying books for yourself, right? That you really want the variant section. There's a lot more selling involved. And when I'm, when I'm doing that, this is the type of book I pay attention to. Um, the last sale on eBay is $38.99 and there's none. There's one combo copy up for auction where it's a one in 10 and a one in 25 and there's nothing else. And the auction may not do that well. Putting a book like this up for auction is not real smart because there's not a ton of people out there trying to get it. You're really trying to play big fish in a small pond. But you know, this is a book you're not going to hear a lot of YouTube channels talk about. You're not going to see a lot of Instagram accounts talking about it. But the people who know, the people who pay attention to this stuff, they were on this one. This is one I was all over. This is one... Um, that I've been paying attention to. And we've talked about it on the channel and we like to be transparent and give you that info. Pay attention to these one in 25 IDWs, especially in a situation like this, because you're almost, and I don't want to say you're guaranteed to do well, but it just consistently time and time again, these books dry up. Think about the um, Usagi Yohimbo, what was it? Uh, number six, that Jeff Darrow variant. That was a similar kind of situation. Yeah, you talk about that one in 100 number one issue. Mm -hmm. There was also, I don't know if it was a GameStop exclusive, but there was a Sonic board game that had like an even a similar cover to that one in 100, but it was like maybe a different shade or something like mm -hmm. that. But there was a Sonic board game that had an exclusive comic in there. And I wonder if there's less of those than the one in 100 because they printed a lot of those issues. Yeah, I, I would. I wouldn't be honestly. I wouldn't be shocked at all. Um, I've seen certain issues where the one in twenty-five. Then once people like the there's a Star Trek one uh, where the one in one hundred goes for less than the one in twenty-five significantly. But either way, I know my kids have been hounding me and 
this weekend I'll be taking them to see Sonic the movie.